everyone. My name is Kurt Davis and I'm a full-time real estate investor here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I've been doing some videos lately uh, talking about how I've purchased property using little or no money down. Uh, some would also call it the BRRR strategy. Um, so a lot of the videos I've been doing have been talking about how somebody could purchase investment property if they find the right deal uh, using little or no money down. Uh, I've even done some videos and I'm still doing some videos about how I've purchased these types of properties for my own personal investment portfolio. Uh, I'll put some links to some videos at the end of this one, but uh, today I'm doing a similar video. Uh, we're going to kind of call this one no money down purchase for my primary residence because uh, the second primary residence that my wife and I purchased, uh, we used essentially the no money down model to buy our primary residence. So I figured I'd kind of go over how I did this in this particular video. So I hope you enjoy. So here's a picture of the property, uh, what it looks like. And it's a large property. Now, like I said, I'm here in Memphis. Uh, if anyone's familiar with the Memphis market, this is located in East Memphis. Uh, let's see here. So some of the details about the property, uh, it's a 6,700 square foot home. It's, it's really entirely too much for most families, but uh, there was nothing I could do about the square footage. It's five bedrooms. Uh, it actually has two masters, one down and one up. Uh, we used to stay in the one upstairs just because of our little children. We wanted to be on the same level. Uh, it had five full bathrooms two half bathrooms, a three car attached garage, in ground pool, side patio, more room than, than we could actually need. Uh, we used to actually have an inflatable blow up in the room above the garage because it was so big. Um, now this house was not always 6,700 6, square feet. It actually had an addition uh, to it. So this house was uh, just a little bit larger than most homes in our in our area where we were at. So what were the purchase details on this particular house? Uh, now keep in mind, I just want to preface this and say that we purchased this house back in 2012. There are, the market was a little bit different back then. Uh, this house was actually listed for 350,000. Uh, it's interesting, we were not actually looking in the East Memphis area at the time. We already lived in East Memphis. Uh, we were actually looking into the Germantown market and we kept looking and looking for months and we could not find what we wanted. For, for one reason or another, there was something that either the house had that we liked or didn't like. We just really couldn't find what we were looking for. And we actually decided to put searching for a home in Germantown on hold. But you know, as a full-time real estate investor and, and realtor, I was always looking online, looking on the MLS to see what happened. And all of a sudden this house, <clears throat> excuse me, caught my eye because like I say here it was listed for 350,000 but they just reduced the price down to 299 I think I had my search criteria set at 300 or less so once they dropped the price I became aware of it and when I read the details about the home I was very interested uh, after checking out the property I kinda determined that in regards to renovations needed and needs and wants, uh, we had a budget of around 35000 is what we came up with. Now the market value on this property was 650000 Before I purchased this home and really got into it, I called a local appraiser friend of mine and they said that they estimated the value to be six fifty. Now looking at prior sales of this home, 650 was the lowest. This house sold at one time uh, as high as 690. So uh, I knew I was on to something here. I contacted my private lender, uh, showed them the property, and I was able to get a no money down loan of $335,000. That was to cover my purchase and repairs, uh, some holding costs, taxes, insurance, things like that when I refinanced this property I was able to do this whole transaction within a month from the day that I purchased it to the day that I refinanced was just about a month so we got the renovations done very quickly 
uh, got it appraised and refinanced uh, because the holding cost uh, would have been very high if it would have taken a long time. So things were working out. Uh, we put, you know, like most people on their primary residence, we put it on a 30-year loan. And at the time, interest rates on primary residences were 3.75%. So uh, this, this house was an absolute home run. Uh, as you can see, our loan of 350000 with estimated market value. Not estimated, I mean, it appraised for 650000 So we had a tremendous amount of built-in equity into this house. <clears throat> And I'm going to show some pictures uh, to you of what the house looked like uh, when we were getting ready to list it at one time. We, we still own the house, uh, and I'll, I'll explain a little more later here, but uh, this was our dining room. So this was uh, the front living room. Uh, this house had multiple, I guess you could say, living rooms, but this was like a more of a sitting room, I guess you could say. Uh, there was our office. Uh, there's the kitchen. Now what this picture doesn't show is that uh, we did put in a uh, new tile throughout the floor. We did get rid of that old kind of Aztec tile that you see there. So we updated that. It had a lot of Viking equipment in it. Uh, this this outside patio where you see everything where you see right here, it used to be a, almost, it was almost like a little forest area. So we had that completely cleaned out. Had this nice deck with arbor put in. Uh, we used to spend a lot of time out there uh, grilling and hanging out because it was right by the pool, as you can see. Uh, just this house was fantastic. This was the lower level master bedroom. We actually used to use this as our guest room. Uh, one thing that was kind of unique about this house is it had a, this was kind of like a little, I don't know what you want to call it, like a two, three, four seasons room. I don't know, our kids used to play there. It was also a pass through from the front living room to the back living room. Uh, and this was the back living room here where I guess you could call it entertaining, watching TV. There's also a bar back there. Entrance out to the pool, going over to the garage. Uh, upstairs, this was part of the addition. Uh, this used to be kind of like the game room. Uh, this was the custom master shower that we installed. Uh, it, <laughs> when we were designing this, it, it actually was too large. It's, it was a massive shower. Uh, here's one of our kids' rooms. Uh, so, uh, like I said, this is not a long video, but I just I wanted to do a video because a lot of these no money down videos are for primarily real estate investors. But uh, though this property was our primary residence for a few years, we eventually did find a property in Germantown uh, that we wanted to move to. So what we decided to do with this property was we found a wonderful family who wanted to do a owner finance option and they've been in the property for a solid, I think five years now. Uh, our mortgage is being paid down. Uh, they're gonna execute their loan hopefully within the next 12 months and they have been wonderful people living in there. They actually live in the house a whole lot nicer than we do. I've been in the house many times. They're excellent. Uh, we couldn't actually ask for a, a better family to be living there. So uh, it's interesting how the primary residence turns into a rental property after only a few short years. So uh, though it was not intended to be an investment property from the start as a rental, it, it has turned into one and has been fantastic. So. Uh, I hope that this video kind of lets you know that if you are looking uh, to buy a primary residence, you can, uh, you know, if you find something that has enough equity spread in it and the renovations aren't so much, you could do uh, little or no money down on a, on a buy and hold primary residence. So uh, I hope you have liked this video. Uh, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel, like it, share it, leave a comment. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at by memphis now so we will be putting out more video content uh brrr or no money down is a very popular strategy and it's how i have built my portfolio so uh just looking forward to educating others on how it can be done as well so i hope you enjoy thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video